How to replace a hard drive. If you're comfortable about fiddling with your computer and confident enough for your capacity to fix your computer yourself, then there's no reason why you shouldn't give more than a fleeting consideration for how to replace a hard drive. Replacing a hard drive isn't that much of a scare. You do need to be familiar with your computer's parts and be able to work knowledgeably and safely, and you will do just fine. Whether replacing a main or a backup hard drive, and you should determine which one needs replacing first and foremost, as with other electrical equipment, always have safety in mind when opening up and handling your computer's inner workings. Here is how to replace a hard drive. 1. Unplug the computer from the power source. Unscrew the side panel and carefully lift it off. Place it at a safe spot so as not to hinder your movements. 2. Locate the hard drive at the computer's front. Inspect the ribbons and where they are connected to. The primary hard drive usually uses a blue ribbon. This will give you a clue on which hard drive to remove depending on whether you're replacing the hard drive or the backup drive. 3. Unscrew the hard drive you're replacing and carefully take it out of its bracket. If it's difficult to remove, make sure the screws are all out. Never force it off. Remember to take out all screws that you remove and put in a safe place so you won't have a hard time finding it when you have to put it back in. Also, a loose screw rolling around inside your computer could wreak havoc on its components. 4. Disconnect the ribbon and unplug the power drive from the rest of the computer so you can remove it fully. 5. If your new hard drive is IDE, you will need to check its jumper settings to make sure that the pin is set to master or CS cable select when replacing the primary hard drive or to slave when it's a backup drive you're installing. If your hard drive has a different way of configuring the jumper settings or if you're unsure, consult its manual or check for the manual at the manufacturer's website. If your hard drive is SATA, then you're in for a bit of good news you don't need to adjust their jumper settings. 6. Connect the ribbon to the hard drive, replace in the bracket, and screw back in. 7. Put the side panel back and screw it in place. Plug it in, switch on, and boot up. 8. If your hard drive is blank, format it. Your hard drive is now ready to use. If it's how to replace a hard drive that's bugging you, well, you need fret no more. The process is easy and one you can do yourself. Use the money saved from not hiring a technician to go buy another component to upgrade. Pretty soon you'll be enjoying the use of a powerful, faster, bigger capacity computer that you built from the ground up.